Hey, if you like the videos we make here at Crypto Comics, please consider picking up my newest superpowered novel, Nobody's Hero, available in digital and print form at EnterTheLostLibrary.com. Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to another exciting installment of Crypto Comics Exploration Through, some of the finest ladies in independent comics from the 1990s and beyond. And this is Mark Silvestri's Velocity from the pages of Cyberforce. This is a three-issue miniseries that I was just going to give you a little looky-poo at here. It is written by Kurt Busick with pencils by Anthony Chun and inks by Aaron Saud. I can only imagine what it must have been like for them. Run, Brigida, run! Alone, friendless, terrified, far from home. Whoa, no! And pursued by a nightmare. Go, Brigida, I'll hold it off as long as I can. Davros, you can't. I said go! Would he have used his powers? Lashed out against the creature to protect someone he valued more than his own life? Maybe, but if so, they didn't do any good. And the woman? Were her powers useful? Was she able to command marine life or breathe in space or something like that? Whatever they were, even though she was dressed like Lara Croft, they didn't do her any good either. We're Cyberforce, a group of cybernetically enhanced superpowered mutants. We're supposed to help people. But we didn't help them, did we? Velocity, are you all right? They're so young. The deaths were swift, if that eases your mind any. They did not suffer much. And before they died, Ripclaw, how did they feel then? Look, Heatwave, or whatever you want to call yourself. This is Connecticut, not Disneyland. It's not your jurisdiction. Your mayor has friends in the federal government, Sergeant. Friends that want this solved with a minimum of fuss. Those friends called us in and told us you'd cooperate. Am I not cooperating? Am I standing in your way? What's the big deal here, anyway? Calling in masks for a couple of dead bums. This isn't the first murder. There have been 13 in the past two months. All the victims were superpowered. All the deaths were grisly. And from Texas to Atlanta, to Maryland, to here, they all look like the work of the same killer. Rafferty, from the Ultraverse. Bum, bum, bum! No, it's not Rafferty, but you can check out the Rafferty saga from the last six issues of Firearm, a stellar 18-issue series from Malibu Comics, part of the Ultraverse imprint. Check it out in the Malibu Comics Ultraverse playlist here at Crypto Comics. Anyway, so we've got a serial killer going around, and people are real upset. Hey, we didn't want any of this. Why'd you come here? This is all your fault. Throw stuff at him. Hey, uh, it's your fault. Get out of here. Hey, we're not going to do anything. We've covered this one in the past, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Image Comics playlist. So Heatwave and Velocity, they're going to go search for the killer. Yes. Her. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, I, I was a troubled kid. And, you know, I caused a lot of problems, and I had to join the Army, and that really straightened my ass out. Hmm. Well, you know, I've always just been the one that's scared. My sister, she's the tough one. I'm pretty sure Ballistic got all the toughness and courage, and I got all the softness, all the fear. Well, I've got to tell you, Karen, even if that were true, I don't think that means Ballistic got the better part of the deal. But you've demonstrated your courage. Huh? There's a cracking noise from the trees above us, as if branches are snapping under some huge weight. They are. Roar! Velocity! Run! Get back to the subplex! Now! I'll handle this thing! <laughs> Heatwave's blast could melt through still, but the creature just laughs, like the flames don't bother him at all. It's burning, but it doesn't care, and I can't just run off and leave Heatwave. But what can I do? The stick I grab feels like a baseball bat in my hands. Makes me think of Cassie, always pitching, always fighting, and that only makes me feel more useless. Forget it, creature. You're gonna fall. Arrgh! That did it. Especially when Heatwave proves he didn't need any help after all. I'm such a loser. Oh, I'm back on my feet. Ha ha ha. No, crack. Ooh. It feels like hours later when I wake up. And the first thing I see. Ah, little one. You look so peaceful in your slumber. And now so tense. Like you might snap in two at any moment. What? what, what? I must tell you, little one. 
Do you feel a pain at the back of your neck? I had to cut through your skin, shatter the tracking chip that would let your friends in Cyberforce know your location. You're all alone, little one. Just you and Charnel. <laughs> We've covered this one. That's also in the Image Comics playlist here at Crypto Comics. Check it out. Molten, hotter than still. Cyberforce Origins. Impact. P -p 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 Please, Eddie. It does not hurt much, little one. I have made my blade too sharp for there to be much pain. And now, your cellular makeup is a part of my own. So he just, like, gets a little scratch, takes a little bit of the blood. Your cellular makeup is part of my own. And I can sense you, track you anywhere. Well, who are you? What happened to Heatwave? Answers later. But now, little one, just run. Don't try to contact your friends. They can't help you. Just run. I run. I ran. I ran so far away. There's Heatwave. Velocity! Oh, there's my friend. No, it's not really Heatwave! Didn't I tell you not to try to contact your friends? Charnel! Ah, but you did not know. Those whom I have tasted, their patterns are within me, and I can show those patterns as I wish. But I have not killed your heat wave. He is 50 miles away, still seeking you in the woods you were in before. After rendering you unconscious, I brought you here to start the chase alone, for I am charnel, and I am death. I killed the others, and I'll kill you too, but not without giving you a chance. If you can best death, you may live. And then there's a tree behind me, and I can't back up any further. And his breath is in my face, hot and salty. It's not the only thing hot and salty that's been in her face. But if you try to reach Cyberforce, by phone, by foot, by message, I'll know. And then I won't just kill you. I'll kill them too. And do you honestly think I couldn't infiltrate them? <laughs> I'm turning into you. Look at this. I do this sometimes when you're not around and look at myself in the mirror. I'm a bit of a Buffalo Bill in the Top Cow universe. I should fight back. I should find a way to beat this monster. But I'm Scaredy Cat. Heatwave would, Ripclaw would, Striker would, Cassie would. But instead, I do what I always do. I run. Let the hunt begin. <laughs> Velocity, the series number two. Even though it's not a series, it's just a miniseries. But it does guest star the Savage a dragon! Now, if you're not familiar with the Savage Dragon, you're going to want to definitely hop into the Image Comics playlist here at Crypto Comics so that you can find out all about my beloved dragon, who uh, I, I adore. Savage Dragon, Shadowhawk, Youngblood. That was the trinity of Image Comics books I collected as a kid. Now I've uh, moved on. And she's in Chicago now, obviously. And... Uh, Dragon found her and brought her some soup and more soup velocity. Thanks, Officer Dirt, but I'm fine. You've all been so nice. Serve and protect. That's us. Now, you said something about being chased by a monster? He's called Charnel. He's super powered. He killed some mutants in Connecticut yesterday. And I'm next. Well, let me fire up the old computer. See what I can find on this guy. Hmm, the name Charnel doesn't cross-reference to anything. Maybe there's been a report entered on that Connecticut case. Ah, here we go. And there is a cross-reference to a list of other... Holy cow! He's killed that many people? Hmm. He's escaped capture every time. Lots of blood, not much info. Wait a second. This could be something. And it's right around here. Hey, Dragon. Looks like maybe we can get some useful background on this channel guy. But maybe you'd better ride along. It looks like your kind of case. I do have other cases to work on, you know. Yeah, yeah. You love this stuff, and you know it. They're helping me without my even asking. Charging into danger on my account? Sometimes it seems like that's the story of my life. Whenever I'm faced with danger, I run, and other people rescue me. Let's go here. Here we go. Let's find out what's going on. Certainly, officers, I remember the case well. In fact... Hardly a day goes by that I don't regret every second of it. What do you mean? Well, here's the file. Mrs. Crampton would throw a fit if she knew I was telling you what's in it. But at this point, anything that stops him is all right by me. 
His name is Willie Cantrell. He was doing time for the latest in a string of B&E convictions. And it was here that he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. He grew morbid and distraught, obsessed with death, and with the idea that he'd wasted his life, that he didn't amount to anything. His condition came to my attention, and I approached him about taking part in an experimental cancer cure. He agreed, whether out of a desire to do something worthwhile with his last days, or perhaps in hope of a second chance. I don't really know. We gave him a series of injections and radiation treatments, and unfortunately, they worked. What? They worked? But weren't they supposed to? They worked too well. The cancer wasn't so much cured as enhanced, giving him not only super strong bones and muscles, but the power to mentally accelerate and control his cancer. Essentially, the power to control the growth of his body's cells. We kept him under observations, hoping it was a temporary side effect, but it wasn't. His obsession with death deepened. He grew convinced that he'd beaten death, that in fact he'd replaced death and must play out his fitting role in the order of things. One day, he simply escaped, destroying every barrier and eviscerating every guard between himself and freedom. We created a monster, created a monster, and unleashed it on the world. A monster? What, this skinny little geek? Brrrr, no dragon, Willie Cantrell is dead. What in the hell? Consumed by the death that grew within him, I am Charnel, that death made flesh, and I bring my gift to the world. I shall come for everyone in turn and test them for their worthiness to live. But today, it is the girl who shall receive my gift. Yeah, receive this, bam. I've got him! Blap, 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 blap! You've got nothing! How can you kill death itself? Oh! No! You won't kill him! Bill Dirt's hurt. Maybe badly. And it's all my fault. I should be fighting him myself, not letting others fight for me, but I don't know how. I warned you, little one. You were not to seek outside aid. Or those you sought shelter with would share your fate. Journal. Why don't you pick on someone closer to your own size? Wham! Dr. Hardesty, is he going to be all right? Oh, yes. These are mostly just minor lacerations and contrusions. Nasty looking, but not life-threatening. Okay, then I'm going to go help Dragon. I don't know how, but I'm going to help. You cannot hurt me, Dragon. Dragon! Boom, boom. Crash, crash, boom, 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 the ice cream, the ice cream man kills him, I love it, he doesn't actually get killed here, boom, shoom, shoom, I'm sorry I let him get away, dragon, he could look like anybody by now, no roadblock could catch him, don't give up so easily, he may be a tough customer, but he hasn't won yet, he'll be coming back for you, so we'd better get you to a safe house. I guess so. Here, just stay here for the evening. It'll be safe. Yeah, don't worry about anything. Hey, I brought some more stuff to eat. Hey, I brought Mugu Gapan and egg rolls. Oh, ha, ha, ha. But you, Dragon. And for you, Dragon and Phoenix Bird's Nest, the house specialty. Ha, ha, ha. I get it, because I'm a dragon. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant by a dragon. It was a good joke, wasn't it? But that's actually one of the more expensive meals in a Chinese restaurant. Wait a second. Velocity? What? Whack! Let's go out the window! I act almost without thinking, and before he can so much as take a breath, we're outside and away from the others. You're not Phil. You're Charnel. Phil was all scratched up and bruised from the fight. Very good, Velocity. You found me out. I never was that good at simulating injuries. On me, they heal too swiftly. Things are happening so fast that Dragon really hasn't had a chance to react. They've only just reached the window, which is good. Follow me, Charnel. I don't wait for an answer. I just go. Are you there, Charnel? I'm here. Good. I want to make a deal with you. A uh, deal? She's been gone half an hour already. And we've got no way to track her. To track either of them. You should see this, Dragon. I just found it wedged into the door jam. Dragon, I couldn't stand it if anyone else was hurt, so I, I let him away. Blast it. 
She's out there somewhere all alone, and we're not going to have any idea what happened to her. Ripclaw number two, guess who's back? There's only one place I can go for help. Here it is. Let me go in here. And look who it is. It's Mother May I. I find your offer intriguing. What sort of favor do you need, little Velocity, that you would come to Mother May I? I knew she wasn't dead. We saw her fall to her death, but she plays tricks on people's minds. And I knew she had to still be around. And that's good, because she's the only one who can help me now. To be concluded. And of course, as all of you beautiful people in Webtown know, it is absolutely concluded. Where's Velocity? I'm not telling anyone anything. <laughs> mother, mother, Sector Gamma hasn't reported in, and we can't raise them by radio. Something's wrong, mother. <laughs> Very well, Velocity, I accept the favor. And I admire your newfound negotiating skills. You've grown up a great deal recently. For your sake, I hope it's enough. Me too. She's not here anymore, you idiot. Ha ha ha. She went that way. I want to run and never stop. Run until my legs drop off and my heart gives out from the effort. But I can't. There's a monster chasing me. A monster named Charnel. Show yourself, monster. Hey, it's Mother May I again. Are you sure you want to do this, child? Yes, I want to use your mental powers to let me look inside myself, into my past. I have to find out why I'm so timid, why I instinctively flee from danger rather than facing it. You're facing it right now, and more bravely than many so-called heroes, but as you wish. And I looked into her eyes, and her third eye opened, and I fell downward, backward, inward, thum! And then he's here, and I won't run. I won't. Boof! Well struck, little one. So it's to be a contest now. You finally choose to defy death rather than avoid it. Good. Most of the time, the only backbone my prey shows is if I tear it out of them. Yikes! And I want to remember, but then I do remember, and we've actually seen this before. Um, well, not this part where Ballistic, as a young girl, stands up when they still oh, They stole my big wheel, Cassie, and Cassie going to beat them up. And there's are going to fight, right? And then, of course, you get to, like, the abusive, uh, alcoholic, dirtbag stepfather who beats her. And, you know, and then you've got the dirtbag mother who does nothing to protect the child. And, yeah, that would make me cry, too. I smell you, little one. You can't hide from me. No shadow is deep enough to cloak you. I'm not hiding. I hurt myself before when I hit him. But thanks to all the rusted out, broken junk around here, it's not going to hurt this time. So basically, she creates some makeshift brass knuckles here. I don't let up. I hit him a dozen times, a hundred, and it hurts him at first. But then he just grows more armor. Ugh. I feel like he's broken me in half. And then he's coming toward me. But it's hard to get up. Hard to run. Please, snap out of it. Find some courage somewhere. You, I, we need to. But there's no answer. Just a shake of her head and a further hunching of her little bony shoulders. Get over it already, you whiny little brat. We're going to die here. What do I have to do, huh? What do I do? And then it hits me. There is no answer. No magic button to press. Like it or not, accident of genetics or upbringing, it doesn't really matter. This is the way I am. This is my nature. No cure. No fix. This is what I get. And I'm running, and he's chasing me. Through the streets, through trash buildings, over rooftops. And I can't use what I don't have, so I've got to use what I do. He can match my speed, but he couldn't match my weight. And he can't match my experience. My training. What? Whoa, little one. A jagged, rusty girder left jutting out of a trash heap. We ran past it about a dozen times. He tries to avoid it, tries to shift, to grow wings. Chook! It doesn't take him long to wake up. But when he does, splash! 
That's gasoline, charnel. There was a little left in one of the abandoned cars. I siphoned it out. So just stay there. Don't move. Or I strike a spark with these two rocks because I'm a non-smoker and so I don't have a lighter. I mean it. You cannot do it, little one. You are not death. Are not what I am. No. No, I'm... I mean it. Don't make me kill you. I back away, but he won't stop. He won't surrender. He lunges. Spark. Croom. His scream is horrible. He writhes and shifts in the flames, trying to adapt to protect himself, but it doesn't work. He screams and screams, and it takes him a long time to die. I, I I'm sorry. A very long time. We saw the light, Velocity. We knew you'd come this way, and... Are you all right? Are you hurt? Ripclaw, I... I... Shh. Don't try to talk, little one. It's over. You're safe. Let's go home. I didn't want to kill him. I didn't think I could. But I learned something about myself tonight. When I have to, I can stop running and fight. I can do the job when I have to. If only, little one, if only. Oh, I guess that was the end. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought for sure there was gonna be one more page left. If only, <laughs> that's how it ends. I screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Oh, only 150 bucks for that uh, Rip Club by Claiborne Moore. Does he still make statues? There was Randy Bowen, who was the, the big time guy, and then there was Claiborne Moore. Now I have no idea how they do statues. I'm really not sure. Ballistic Studio Swimsuit Special. I'm going to have to check to see if that's actually a thing. This is really weird. Eight ash cans all in one set, all limited editions, randomly signed. But need we say more? But what... Do you buy them? Like, where, where do you get them? What, what, I don't understand. You selling these ash cans, Mark Silvestri? What's going on here? There's that one again. Ballistic imagery, an all-new ongoing anthology series chronicling the tales of Hellcop, Heavy Space, and Relic. We'll fight evil for food. It's about a homeless guy who fights evil for food. I think that's the plot of Spawn. Maybe. Weapon Zero, uh, I think this was a, a special comic book sent to me by maybe by my, by my main man, Billy Dibnuts. I'm not really sure. Rip Claw number three. So, beautiful people in Webtown, I have been really, really happy to uh, share this amazing, amazing little mini series with you from Top Cow, courtesy of Image Comics. This has been Velocity, without a doubt, my favorite female character in cyber force one of my favorite female characters in the entire image universe and i mean obviously you can see why very original design very original design original colors like you know you just you don't get something like this every day this is a a real work of art as far as a uh, comicdom goes and i've been very happy to share it with each and every one of you beautiful people in webtown and we have almost reached the conclusion of our Brief glimpse at some of the incredible female characters in independent comics. I say almost because we have one more amazing female of independent comics still to review coming up next week on Crypto Comics. But if you enjoyed this rare glimpse at the Velocity 3 issue miniseries from Image Comics, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Hit that bell and a strange woman running from her past will show up at your home, seeking a man to help heal the wounds of her heart. Only one bell per customer. And then when she shows up at your house, have her sit down and watch a few videos here at Crypto Comics because I guarantee you she's going to want to subscribe too after she sees our next Indie Wednesday review right here at Crypto Comics.